At Canoes, Mountains and Caves, we are passionate about journeying, both in the outdoors, on the water, in the mountains or underground, and in life itself. This is one of our classics from 2017. Yeah, 2017 was a very good year um, for our biggest trip of the year. And as always, it was at Easter time and it had been a long time in the planning. You might need a brew to see you through this one. It'll take a few minutes. But uh, I suppose if you live in England or Wales, well then our base here up in Carlisle might seem like a long way north. But if you look at map of the UK, it's not a long way north at all really. And um, this year's journey to the Inverpolly Nature Reserve began in the area of Asint. Our start point was where the main road, the A835, crosses the Ledmore River at Elfin or just outside Elfin. We began late on a sunny, mild and quite still April afternoon. It was just a short float down the Ledmore River onto Camlock in beautiful conditions in some of the finest scenery that the UK has to offer. We were on Camlock very long when we came to the point at which it joins Loch Veity, but they're separated by a waterfall, which I guess is quite rare. I don't think I've ever seen two locks separated by such a big waterfall before in my life. And that was our first compulsory portage. It was only a short one, and that's always a way on Loch Veity. Views on Loch Veity were surreal. Sullivan off to our right in kind of a fading light. It really was magical. We found what I would call like an A1 campsite, a really good spot on the southwest shore of Loch Veity. We got a fire in, we cooked, we did all that you do on the first night of an expedition. It was really great to be out there. The following morning, when folk finally stirred from the slumbers, us out of our tent, some were in hammocks, some under tarps, and uh, the morning that greeted us was still quite calm, um, skies were a bit grey, the views were still outstanding and off we headed north and west up Loch Veity towards the Oud Fian River, please forgive my Gaelic. That took us uh, with quite a reasonable water level actually, it was fine onto Fion Loch and this was the first part of the journey that we'd really been approaching with some trepidation. We had to cross from Fion Loch via about two kilometres of rough ground, um, joined together by an area called Na Trilochen, which I guess translates to the three locks, which we used to float the boats over, but to break up what was really quite a brutal portage, to be honest, quite steeply uphill to start with, floating across some water, then downhill onto Loch Sionaskeg, which again is another beautiful spot. We hit Loch Sionaskeg, I guess quite late in the day, certainly was getting well on in the afternoon, after some real hard work portaging those boats, and we camped up in a place called Boat Bay. Wasn't the best campsite in the world, but it had a great view, and we had a good night there. I guess day three started out again, quite fine conditions. We were blessed really, not too much wind, as we became down to a point where we had to negotiate the poly locks. I think we got a little bit more than we bargained for on the poly locks really, and had to resort to some good trad skills to negotiate the kind of the rapids that joined the small locks together. Um, they weren't runnable with heavy loaded boats, so we lined down them. But it was great, we had a competent group. There were eight of us, four tandem crews. Uh, the skills were good, and when we got down the poly locks and threw them quite nicely, really. That led us to our target of the Poly River, or the Inver Poly River. I have to have a quick glance at the right. Yes, the River Poly. Um, We'd hoped to paddle the Polly River quite a long distance. But when we got there, it was like a graveyard and we couldn't really make any progress. It was wading, pushing, pulling. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare. So we bailed from it and hit the nearby small road much earlier than we planned to for a portage using our trolleys. Quite a long way by road down to the junction at Badnergeit. By this time, the weather had turned on us. It was later in the day than we planned because we'd had to walk a lot further than we'd intended. And we set out with the wind behind us, 
quite a brisk breeze really white tops everywhere and we paddled back in a southeasterly direction on Loch Bad a Gale. Light was fading, we weren't going to get as far as we planned that day, so we ended up settling for a, a forced camp in a bay on Loch Bad a Gale. It was rough, dingy, pouring down, we cooked in our tents, it was quite unsociable, and it was a bit of a tough night really. Uh, made no easier by the fact that we knew the following morning that having made the decision to camp on this headland with the wind blowing the direction it was that we were going to have to portage across the headland it hadn't been planned it was another one of those rough portages to see us around a piece of land and into Loch Lurgain our final piece of water for the journey on Loch Lurgain the weather was probably worse than it had been the evening before it was uh, nearly dark, although it was just the middle of the morning. Uh, wind was howling. It was kicking off, really, and um, it was perhaps the hardest open water paddling of the journey. Um, I think one of the boats chose to portage around one of the headlands, but we paddled the rest of them round in quite a strong following wind, and then we were able to tuck in on a little sandy beach at the foot of Stack Polly to end our journey. What a trip. It was magic. One of the best we've ever done. We, uh, we completed the vehicle shuttle and decided to camp there for another night. We got a fire in, um, ate some food, socialised and just enjoyed all the fellowship that goes with that last night of an expedition. Nice to stay there an extra night rather than just to pack up and go home. Inverpolly, wow, what a place. I think it's somewhere that we'll aim to go back to. Probably the best expedition that I've been involved in. Um, thanks for listening. Um, that's us for now.